back to Stardew Valley. This is Pen Pen. It is Monday the 15th in the third week of spring and we are back for another fabulous day in Stardew Valley. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing today. <laughs> I've just come back after Christmas, had an insane time at Christmas. It was crazy busy but really lovely to catch up with family and now I have to get back in the mindset of recording. So let's go for it. Oh! And it's salmon berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy little berries and they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. That is true. And we will be hunting salmon berries as much as we can. What's the weather going to be like for tomorrow? Clear and sunny all day. Beautiful sunny weather. And today we have oh somewhat mildly perturbed spirits today. Luck will not be on our side. Well, that's fine because I don't think we're doing anything particularly lucky today. Look at it outside today. It is beautiful. We have petals falling from the sky and we have some mail. What does it say? Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead, Granny Evelyn. Thank you, Granny. That is excellent advice and very useful. Well, let's get our watering can and get started on this enormous garden, this enormous farm that we need to water because it is getting large. And uh, work out what we need to do this week. So we are making great progress on the community. Oh, I got a daffodil. That is excellent. Uh, which is really good but we sort of are in the mid we're in the doldrums we're in the spring doldrums here so all that we need to do now is keep watering our plants so that we can get as much as possible in terms of money before the end of spring so there's going to be a lot of time spent on watering which is not going to leave an awful lot of energy left for other things but i would like to get some more fishing done and I'd like to actually make an effort to get enough wood to go down and repair the bridge at the beach. That would be good. And besides that, of course, we need to get money together for a coop, for a house expansion. So it's all go. And the more money we can get, the better. And of course, we've still got to work out all who's got birthdays this week and what jobs there are available for us to do to make the townsfolk happy. Look at this. We're getting some good crops, but these are... While these are not bad crops, these uh, spring seed crops, they're not exactly high earners. So we might want to put in something that will get us a little bit more money. What is this? Kale? Did I plant kale? No, these are parsnips. That's right. We're trying to get our five star parsnips before the end of the season. So fingers crossed for those. Wow. And I'm still watering. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope whatever you were doing, you had a good time. Um, it's crazy to think that the year is nearly over already. I just, it feels like it just started a while ago, but now we have to think about the new year and what we're going to be doing in 2020. And I have some great plans for the channel, uh, hoping that I can actually, you know, achieve these plans, but we shall see. All right, let's get that wood while we're here, dear me. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seeds of some sort. Oh, look at all those gold stars that we have. That is excellent. Uh, I don't want to use those parsnip seeds. So let's put some of these gold stars in here for gifts and sell the rest for lovely, lovely money. Money. And... Oh, that goes in there. I forgot I reorganized my... All right. Seeds. That means two pierres, my friend. We must go two pierres. Oh my gosh, did you see what I just saw? Right on the farm, salmon berries. Yes, our first salmon berries. So these are like, they're like freebie berries that you get early in spring and they're super cheap, um, which is good, but they... You know, you can't do much with them. You can sell them. Oh, and also, <laughs> it took me several goes of this game before I discovered this little area. And I only discovered it because there's a quest that you have to do for Linus to find his basket. 
which shows you where this area is. And these are salmon berries in spring and blackberries in autumn. So it's like a little hidden mystery area. There's not many of them, uh, but there are a couple that you find as you go through the game. So very good to go in there and check for salmon berries. So yeah, salmon berries you can pretty much only use to make preserves. Uh, and you don't get a preserves thing for quite a while. Yes, we have a job. What is it? Oh, blast. I'd like to put a gold bar on a chain. Please deliver it sometime today, Shane. Well, that's disappointing because we are nowhere near good enough to go down and get a gold bar because you have to go a fair way down in the mines to get it. And we're not going to get there in two days, so never mind oh hey taking a break from work well no i'm here to buy seeds why does everyone assume i'm taking a break welcome if you're looking for seeds you've come to the right place i am pierre give me some of your best what do i want cauliflowers uh kale let's do some kale that takes six days to mature so that's five and six is 21. And then, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Nine. Oh, and I see Marnie there. Hi, Marnie. I just love animals, Ms. Penn. Treat them kindly. We'll become friends, I'm sure. I'm sure we will, Marnie. I'm sure we will. And we are back out. Our awful little habit. Yes, we're going through the bins again. We can't help ourselves. There's Shane. Hey, Shane. Hey, Shane. Not Shane. Sam. Sorry, Sam. Hey, farmer. I have a name. No, we've talked about this. Birthdays. Birthdays. All right. Oh, this week. Okay. This week is interesting. We have Pam's birthday on the 18th and Shane's birthday on the 20th. Now, Shane likes beer so he's easy Pam likes pale ale so she's slightly more difficult but we can just get her beer and she'll be happy so that's good we sell a few over the counter counter medicines at the clinic feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted I know that being a farmer is pretty tiring work don't overdo it you know what that's a great idea wait a minute let's talk to Leah trees look nice today don't they they do spending time in nature is very rewarding indeed it is let us can we buy i don't think we can well that's i want to buy something harvey you mentioned these magical formulas and now i want to buy some and you've left never mind all right let's head back home plant these seeds we have very little energy left so i think today is going to be chopping some wood and then going hunting for some salmon berries. So kale, yuck, disgusting vegetable, but sells quite well. So, you know, apparently some people eat it. Oh, I don't know, crazy people who'd eat that rubbish. Beautiful, that was a perfect amount. And let's start clearing some of these trees. I didn't want to do that. Oh no! Oh my friends, I made a mistake. I pushed it too far and I am now exhausted. Look at this. I can't, I'm, I'm crawling along at snail's pace. Oh, I should not. Look at my sad face. I'm exhausted. I have absolutely no energy. Well, that's just stuffed up my entire day hasn't it because it is 2 50 p.m um blast 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 all right let's put our sap in there and, oh my gosh look at my little tired eyes i don't actually know if we can i should sell that yes and that and that yes i should for money for money uh I don't know if eating anything actually helps our... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's try eating something. Eat a salmon berry. Yes. Does it solve our problem? Uh, it does, but I'm still exhausted. Okay, but at least I'm not crawling around. Um, I'm going to keep these, these. But I'm going to sell 
everything else. You, and you. All right, we're running around. That's enough to keep us from absolutely dying. Let's see if we can hunt for some salmon berries. Hello, Joe. That was foolish of me. I could have got myself into a lot of serious trouble. So this means that we have to go to bed on time tonight. Otherwise, we will wake up tomorrow. And it might even be that we wake up tomorrow and we're on half energy. I can't exactly remember what the penalty is. But goodness me, look at all these salmon berries. This is fantastic. This will be a goodly amount of money for us. Um, and I used to save them all and until I had a preserves jar to make preserves, but it's really honestly not worth it because you can just sell them early on. There's a leak. Hey, there's Linus. Hey, Linus. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. Oh, that's good. How do I get that leak? Excuse me. I would like to steal your leak. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's not really worth hanging on to them until you get a preserving jar. Because in the end, um, you know, you get better things that you can make preserves, like preserved potatoes. I, you know, the mind kind of boggles how you would preserve a potato. I don't know. I don't know. Maru helps me out in the lab sometimes. She's a good kid. Well, that's good to know. More leeks. Wow, I'm really uh, getting quite a few salmon berries. This is good. And I'm just going to spend the rest of the day running around collecting salmon berries and talking to people. Oh, there's there's Robin. Hi, Robin. Wait, no, Robin. Have I told you I built our house from the ground up? I believe it. It's definitely been the highlight of my career so far. That's excellent. It is a great house. And let's have a look at our social. How are we going? Hmm. Hmm, Lewis, Vincent, Robin, Linus, Sebastian. Oh, we've got heaps of, heaps of little hearts going on there. Maybe we should start giving gifts to people, like just random gifts. Now I regret giving away those daffodils because they do make great gifts for everyone except uh, Caroline, I think, doesn't like daffodils. I'm not sure. More salmon berries running around. Look, they're everywhere. They only last for, I think, eight days. So you really need to push hard to get all of the salmon berries you can before they run out. And once again, luckily I can use my scythe and not use energy. That I think that's a bit of an oversight. I don't know whether that was intentional, but if you've ever used a scythe, and I have actually used a scythe, but uh, not professionally, um, they, they take a lot of effort to swing around. You really have to get them going. So let's whiz down here. I'm pretty sure there's salmon berries yep, all through town. Great way to get money early on. Very handy. Up down through here. Oh, look, no one's around. Let's check the bins. Ooh, my little habit getting out of hand now. And we should also go down to the beach and check for forage there. Salmon berries everywhere. Oh, there's another one. My goodness. Oh, technically this is like Lewis's front yard, but uh, he's not around. So I'm also going to go through his bin while I check for my salmon berries. You know what I haven't seen for ages is uh, twiggies, wormies. Oh, having said that, there's one. Wish me luck. Our stone. Really? Really? Never mind. There's another one over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ooh. Ooh. Rhylobite. Nothing can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. I will definitely be doing that. I don't remember if that one gives you a reward, but it might. Ooh. Oh, good. A cutscene. I love cutscenes. Oh, it's Linus. Going through the bins. Totally with you, Linus. You can get some great stuff going through the bins. Uh-oh. Except when you get caught. Brr. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Nobody says varmints in real life. I don't even know what a varmint is. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favour? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm not afraid of raccoons. Uh-oh, it's Linus. 
Oh no, Linus, are you sad? It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. I know! You wouldn't believe what I've pulled out of these trash cans, Linus. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? No, of course not! <laughs> um, no, it's a shame for food to go to waste. I am fully behind you 100% Linus. Like, please don't misunderstand me. I don't go around in real life digging through people's bins, but in this game, it's just so rewarding. I can't stop. Thanks, Pen. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. That's right, you're not. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. Eh, just, you know, try to do it when he's not around. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Sure, I'll do that. I'll do that, Linus. Yep, good. Good luck. I hope you get something out of this bin. Uh-oh. Man, you're having the worst luck tonight, Linus. Wait. Oh, dear. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Oh, Gus, you're so nice. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Yum! Wow! <laughs> I love zucchini fritters. Go on, take it. You're a good man, Gus. I always knew you were a good man. That's fantastic. And on that note, we'll go home, buy all the bins that we haven't rummaged through already, which I think we've done every... <laughs> we've done all of them, oh well. And uh, just remind myself whose birthday is coming up. Pam is on the 18th. So we've got quite a few days. So that was a pretty productive day. We got, to, even though we ran out of energy really quickly from chopping those trees. Oops. Never mind. But yeah, this is, this is the point where you struggle so much to keep your energy up enough uh, oh, wait, wait, lucky I remember this. Uh, we need to check what we're missing from... Whew. This is the problem with taking a break between days when you're playing this game is that you forget what you had to do. Aha, I need that muscle. Oh, I'm glad I checked and a cockle. Okay, so I can sell the clam but not the muscle and I sell a leek. Oh, and the oyster and the salmon berry. Yes. Okay, and I'll put everything away. And you know what? I might as well go up to the community center and hand in that muscle before I forget. Because it's really easy to forget, you know, as aptly demonstrated many other times. So yeah, this is this is the point where every day you spend so much time on your farm because your farm really is your biggest income generator you know i joke about i'm a farmer and i spend hardly any time farming in this game but you do what you do on the farm is significant in terms of getting your money and advancing in farming and in the game with um all of your produce and all of that so it really is worth making a big farm reasonably early even though you tend to run out very quickly run out of energy there we go so if we can get a cockle and a crab we can finish the crab pot bundle very very early i mean we could also craft a crab pot but i think you need a fishing level four to do that all right so let's head home again end of the day and was that a salmon berry it was a salmon berry i do love the way they stand out and glow at night that's really helpful now, what a pity I don't have energy because I have not done any night fishing, I think, since I've leveled up my fishing. And I really need, I'm pretty sure it's an eel that I need to get. Uh, I need to go down the river and get a brim. But as I said, we'll see. We need a rainy day, people. We need a rainy day so that we can either spend the whole day fishing or spend the whole day in the mines. And I think at this point, I'll probably spend it fishing. 
that would probably be the best use of my time all right you in there that's the end of our day my friends let's go to sleep and see how we did oh no levels up we've got oh we got 800 gold from that uh, from the stuff we got on the farm 40 gold from fishing for a total of 852 not an amazing day but slowly we are getting the money we need to get ourselves a coop to upgrade our house and to get the seeds we need for summer when we need to have quite a lot quite a large farm to set up well that's it for today a very short episode day 15 of spring is done and i will see you again tomorrow my friends for another day in stardew valley this is pen pen out bye